big kids and big kids parents i hope you're doing well i hope you're staying safe and enjoying the weather out this week it has been absolutely uh, beautiful uh, before we get started i do have a couple of quick things that i wanted to go over with you That's me. Hold on one second. I got to take this. Hello? What's that? I can't hear you. No, you're 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 breaking up. No, we we must have a, a bad connection or something. I I can't hear what you're saying. Hello? Have you ever had a bad connection with someone? Have you ever felt like it was hard to hear them or maybe that they weren't really there? And what we're going to be talking about this morning is our connection with the Holy Spirit. And when we faithfully follow Jesus, we don't have to worry about that connection with the Holy Spirit. We're going to be diving into a passage of scripture that talks about who the Holy Spirit is and and what he does and, and what his role is in our life. And before we get started, um, I actually do have a couple of things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, a couple of fun facts about the Holy Spirit that you may or may not know uh, before we dive into our Bible lesson. So the first one, I want you guys to know that the Holy Spirit is God. The Holy Spirit is just as much God as Jesus is, as the Father is. So the Holy Spirit is part of the Trinity, is, is part of the Godhead. You have the Father, you have the Son, and you have the Holy Spirit. They're all part of the same God. Uh, second, the Holy Spirit was with Jesus in the same way that he's with me and you. The same Spirit that Jesus had, and the same Spirit that rose Jesus from the dead, is the Spirit that lives inside of us, which is a huge blessing for us. Third, the Holy Spirit helps us follow Jesus, and we're going to be talking about that. The Spirit has a very unique role in helping us faithfully follow Jesus. And then finally, the fourth thing that I want you to know uh, for this week is that every believer has the Holy Spirit. If you're a believer, if you are faithful in Jesus, if you have a personal relationship with him, you have the Holy Spirit, and that's what the Scripture tells us. And so we're going to be diving into that uh, this week. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So our life point uh, for this week and, and our lesson uh, for, for this week is the Holy Spirit helps people understand God's plan for salvation. And that's going to be there at the bottom of your screen. Uh, and we're going to be in Acts chapter 2 today. So if, if you don't mind uh, pausing the video and, and pulling out your copies of God's Word and opening up there and, and reading it together as a family, we're going to jump around just a little bit today. Um, I'm going to point out um, a few different scriptures on the Holy Spirit so that we can get a really good idea of uh, what the Holy Spirit does and, and who He is and, and how He affects me and you. So uh, Acts chapter 2, it's not that long. Go ahead and pause the video uh, and read that together as a family uh, real quick. And so this, this passage of scripture uh, that we're in today uh, tells us about uh, the story of the disciples after Jesus had went up to heaven. So in, in Acts chapter 1, Jesus had ascended into heaven. He goes back uh, to sit on the throne, he goes back to be with the Father, and he sends the Holy Spirit in his place. He sends them, or he sends the Holy Spirit in his place to do uh, his work. So what does this teach us about God? Well, because the Holy Spirit is God, he's able to help us in ways that we weren't able to receive help before. Right? And so open up to John 14, 26. And this is what this is Jesus, and he's talking to the disciples. And this is before he goes to the cross, before Jesus goes to die for us. This is what he told the disciples. He said, But the counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of everything that I have told you. And like I said earlier, 
this Holy Spirit that's given to us is inside of every single believer. And so take a look at Ephesians 1.13. Ephesians 1.13 says, In him you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and believed in him, you were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit. And what, what this verse is telling us is that when we heard the word of truth, and what is the word of truth? The word of truth is the Bible. It's the gospel. It's it's God's word. And so when we heard the word of truth, right? And then he says the gospel of your salvation. So that's the same thing, the word of truth and the gospel of salvation, and believed in him. So when we believe in our heart, when we trust in Jesus, when we have that personal relationship with Jesus, it says we were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit. And so what this teaches us is not only are we given the Holy Spirit, are we sealed with the Holy Spirit inside of us, but also the Holy Spirit comes along to teach us and to remind us of things and, and to make us repent when we sin, to remind us of Jesus' teaching, to put our focus back on God. So the Holy Spirit helps us follow Jesus in ways that we weren't able to before. And it's it's all because when we trust in him, the Holy Spirit enters us and he helps us. How can we apply this to our life? Well, first and foremost, we need to have a personal relationship with Jesus. We need to trust in him and we need to believe in him with our hearts. If we don't do that, then we don't have the Holy Spirit. But the moment that we do, we're given the gift of the Holy Spirit. And this, the Spirit is there to help us and to guide us and teach us, to convict us when we sin, to help us follow Jesus in ways that we, we couldn't imagine before, right? And we're able to do that when we faithfully follow Jesus. And sometimes things get a little bit difficult, right? We start to lose our connection. We start to maybe not be able to hear quite like we wanted to. But when we faithfully follow Jesus, there is no bad connection with the Holy Spirit, right? And we need to keep up those spiritual disciplines that we have been talking about in weeks past in big kids of, of being faithful and reading our Bible and being faithful in praying and attending church faithfully, right? Watching the live stream uh, in the situation that we're in. But when we faithfully follow Jesus, when we get rid of the sin in our life and we we keep the good things around, we're able to have that connection, that deeper connection with the Holy Spirit. And he helps us follow Jesus more deeply.